Um, I'm in my head this morning. I did a sewing and the plan wasn't to do a sewing initially. The plan was to do a um, slip back ponytail. But the guys that are doing my hair, they pissed me off. They did the wrong thing and I was put off completely. I didn't want to do ponytail anymore. I didn't want to do my hair anymore. I just said, you know, just do like a normal sewing for me. And I always get a side part. But this time I decided to do a middle part and I'm not sure if I like it as much, but it's not bad. I feel like it will grow on me. I just feel like it's because they messed my hair up the first time. Because I'm just like, okay, you messed it up now. If I tell you to correct it, is, are you just going to mess it up even more? I just said, uh, if I sent them home without making my hair, because I was very charged up, I'd regret it. So I just like, yeah, do you know what? I'll just do a sewing. So that's why I did. Something simple, even though that wasn't the initial plan. But, you know, we're here now. Okay. Hi guys. I'm about to try this salad from Tulip Bistro that my sister's my sister, my twin sister, Odi keeps gushing about. You don't know who Odi is, Odi is my twin sister. I talk about her a lot, but like yeah. This bitch keeps talking so much about this salad. So I got myself I'm not a huge salad person. Um but yeah, I'm going to try it. And to be honest, I'm going to be lying if I said this for my first time because she was having um, some the other day and I had a little bit from hers. I have one for myself and you know sometimes when you just eat from other people's food like you know it can seem sweeter than it's meant to be if you get what I'm trying to say. But like this is mine. I'm gonna try it. Which is about to die. Let me switch. Let me switch out my battery and I'll be back. Okay. So eating on my bed. I shouldn't be doing that, but you know. This salad is so good and very filling too. of cows on the road like what's actually going on go for brunch no actually lunch with my sisters and I'm already dressed to be very honest I thought I was going to wear makeup I wanted to wear makeup but I don't know if I want to wear makeup oh, I don't wear makeup yeah and I have time so I think I'm going to do that I'm going to wear makeup 
think I went to wear makeup. This top was so hard to put on. It's always so hard to put on makeup. Please come and put bendy rollers on my hair. I don't want to have ass today because I initially planned on wearing makeup. So I don't want to just be like, ah. actually, I'm not going to wear makeup. Because that sounds like half ass to me. In my last vlog, I kind of spoke about how, like, hard, not hard, but like how, like, I get demotivated to, like, post on YouTube because of, like, lack of ideas. And not knowing what that like, people, not knowing what people would want to see. Gee, let me just finish these eyebrows and come back because I'm talking too much. I don't want to mess with these eyebrows. So I had to go off camera and I did a lot of my makeup while I was off camera. But I don't think you guys need to see that because I do my makeup on my vlogs a lot. And yeah, I went off camera because I wanted Audi to do my bendy rollers for me and she didn't want to be on camera. So yeah, that's why I'm back with bendy rollers. I wasn't going to curl my hair because I didn't know how to do. I didn't know how to put bendy rollers and you know. But she was conveniently here and I was just like, oh, can you put my bendy rollers for me? In my last vlog, I kind of spoke about how hard it is like not hard but like how I have that much motivation when it comes to posting and being consistent on youtube just because of how ideas are like very hard for me to come up with and it's mostly hard because i'm always asking myself i'm always telling myself oh they went like this this is too boring who wants to hear that blah blah i'm always like coming up with like reasons why i shouldn't put out you know things that i think okay you know this is i would like to see this but I'm always like, oh, I don't think other people might like, might want to see this. I'm always coming up with reasons why I feel like put out content and be as consistent because I just don't know. I'm always like, yeah, nobody's going to watch, nobody's going to watch this, and that puts me off like putting out content. So I kind of like spoke about my lack of motivation when it comes to like putting out YouTube videos, and someone left me the cutest comment ever. And I kid you not, it made my entire day. It might hurt a little, but like it made all the difference. And it made me so happy. So yeah. Shout out to you. What are you doing? Can if now finish her makeup on time? I think she can because apparently we went to me for 130. But obviously it doesn't have to be 130. Dot. I like to start my face with my Charlotte Tilbury Second Speed Best before I start my face with my Blue Recipe Watermelon Ultra Watermelon Blue Ultra Fresh. from Zara my um, white pants that I'm currently wearing they're from Zara obviously you can't see but yeah scent of the day this low day perfume because I'm gonna spray it in the well 
and then I'm going to mix that with my Tom Ford rose prick I don't know what you guys think I think I might carry this bag even though my I don't think my hairbrush maybe the smaller one might fit in in it I don't know but I prefer to carry it without the strap but I'm just checking to see if it'll look good when I strap it on Okay, yeah, and I'm ready. But yeah, this is how my makeup looks. So it turns out. Can you say hi? Pump pressure on it. Push it on till it breaks again. I was using, I said using the Polar's Choice um, 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and it's actually making my skin purge. I've probably been using it for only like three weeks now. Apparently the purging phase is meant to last four to six weeks. So I just want to see what happens. I'm going to continue using it and obviously like, if it doesn't stop purging my skin then there's a problem. Even though it's purging my skin, it's not crazy. Yeah, like it's not crazy like my skin is not going crazy sure but like it's not crazy texture do you get hi guys today is saturday and i honestly just woke up from like a long last nap i did my hair on thursday medium sized um braids with like the curls on the tips i really like curls on my tips and i got my inspo from this babe on instagram like i randomly just saw her my explore and i was just like i was looking for something simple to do on my hair because i didn't want to do anything crazy so i saw it on my explore page and i was just like yeah i'm definitely doing this style so yeah that's what i did very cute and i used lush extensions apparently my brother was telling me guys a lot of fakes of expressions now so People don't really use expression like that anymore. I'm trying to get on ready for the net. I like background sounds when I'm doing skincare or just trying to unwind. But yeah, um, anyways, yeah, she used Lush because expressions just don't cut it anymore. And I really like this. I really like how it looks. I really like how the, the, the what's it called? The extension is really lush. Lush, lush, lush. I really wanted to go and um, change my nails because they're in dire need of help it started you know when it's like growing out it started doing that thing where it's lifting and my nail tech his phone was switched off today so i guess that means he wasn't working today i'm really proud of myself i, I just dropped a vlog i know it vlog a youtube video because it was on like things that i'm currently loving that went up yesterday i think and yeah, I just want to keep up like the pace. I want to keep being consistent. Like that was like one of the goals I set for myself this year. And I don't want to sleep on that. I don't want to sleep on you know that goal. Hi guys, good morning. I didn't do my eyebrows. I was waiting for something natural. I really did not want to wear makeup today. I think time is 12 noon. Oh my god, that's a huge pile of laundry. Sorry, guys. Um, this is my makeup with like, um, what, what do you call this? Bathroom lighting. This is the makeup. The makeup is like, I'll say this is natural lighting. This is a concealer only makeup look. And I think it looks good. Today I'm going to be going for my driver's license capturing. I told you guys how like I'd been procrastinating like filling out the form for like my driver's license but I finally did it and that's been like over a month. So like today I'm finally doing like my capturing. <gasps> Trying to adjust my hair so it doesn't look crazy on camera. I don't know if I should just do like I think I should just do like two here and like take the rest of the back i think that's what i'm going to do but let me just finish saying what i want to say first but yeah outfit of the day i'm just wearing this this is from zara i think this is zara 
I'm pretty sure this is from Zara. This is from Zara as well. My shorts is also from Zara. I'm going to be carrying my pearl baby from Zara as well. Zara, when are people going to sponsor me? The last time I sp spoke to you guys about how like my skin was purging because of like the Polar's Choice, and then I started using um i said he's in fresh soy cleanser and it calmed down i feel like my skin was really like dried out from like using polish choice every other day and then i started using like the fresh soy gentle cleanser obviously because i didn't want to be like using like harsh things to wash my face when i'm using a product like polish choice so i thought that okay obviously that was going to be something gentle for my skin I think it also contributed to drying my skin out you know i saw improvements like the next day but like the next like two days three days after that my skin was like really dry you know those tiny tiny things that that look like they have white heads inside of it those were appearing in my skin that's how i know that like you know my skin barrier has been compromised and i remember Audi was um gushing about like the ren um milk cleanser i think it's called i'll show you guys give me one sec but okay let me just show you guys i just collected this from her she already had this so i was just like i want to try it and she gave it to me and i've been using it it's been like three four days now since i'm using it and my skin has become better the rash or whatever that i got from like my skin being dried out and my um, skin barrier being compromised it's like it's calmer now like it's way better and yeah um is the this is called the ren gentle cleansing milk this just feels like like you're massaging your skin it feels like it literally feels like milk it feels like you're cleansing your skin it's one of those cleansing balms like i feel like i've only in my life i feel like i've only used like two cleansing balms which is that soy um cleansing balm from fresh and this one and they never lather up i don't know if that's a thing with like all cleansing balms but they don't have that lathering they don't lather up you almost feel like is this actually cleansing my skin like is the dirt actually coming off but it is this literally feels like it's moisturizing your skin like you're washing the dirt off you're washing your skin like you're cleansing your skin but it feels like on top of that your skin is being moisturized like my skin doesn't feel stripped in any way shape or form i feel like it really helped like with, to calm my skin down to calm the irritation down but yeah this is the Good or no? I'll see you guys when I get back.